Okay, this video here is going to go over how we can use the grid model functionality within UMC 3D in a dredging application. So what I'm going to do is go into settings here and I've got set up a project here called Sandspit and in that project I've got a terrain model which is our design surface and this here is my file name. Now what I normally always do in the software is hit the spanner at this point and ensure that I've got draw triangles turned off because I don't want to show all of the design triangles to the operator because it just is uh, too confusing for them on the display. Um, for the purpose of the simulator I've also got a line file set up. This is normally not needed. It's just purely I've got it set up for my simulator. If I jump out of here now and we go into help models you can see I've also got an active help model which contains all of my line work for the project. So this is what it looks like. What we're going to do is within settings go into other and I'm going to convert my terrain model over into a grid model. So here's my terrain model and it's going about to create a grid file which has a GDM file extension on it um, over my terrain model surface. And I'm going to use this compression type here called 8-bit. What this minus 2 to plus 2 refers to is like a height reference from my grid over maximum height reference um, change uh, over my grid points and this is the tolerances that it can achieve over their grid so about 15 mil it's more than adequate for dredging and I'm going to create myself a grid which has got a 0.25 meter spacing in X and a 0.25 meter spacing in the Y direction and as I go convert you'll see what this is doing it's creating taking my terrain model and putting a 0.25 by 0.25 meter grid over the whole thing and you know, these color changes are the different height steps that are in the actual design. So it'll finish that in a minute. <coughs> and I go OK. And now I'm going to escape out. And go back into my surface. And now I have the option to turn on this grid model, which I'm going to do now. And the next thing I'm going to do is go and configure it by hitting the spanner here. And I'm going to set that grid model at a nominal 1 meter above my finished design so that anything I excavate um, down to design is going to be updated in the grid model and you'll see that in a minute. I'm also going to set my color spacing um, for the purpose of the simulator to every point one of a meter and I'll show you how that works um, now. So if we go out um, and go into our digging screen for the operator this here is our color spacing so green is on grey this is very close to grade within 0.1 of a metre and this is a long way away from grade and so you can see it's red all in here because I set my grid model at being a nominal 1 metre above my final design surface. Um, so if I dig too low then these grid points are going to start appearing as blue in the design uh, on this grid file here. To use the grid model what I'm going to do is go to tools and I'm going to go to this thing here called Modify Mode. So currently what's happening, none of this grid is being updated at all. So this is suitable for when I'm moving the machine around on the barge and paddling it around and so forth. To get it to update, I just change the Modify Mode into Push Mode. And now you can see it's updating all of these grid points. So I can zoom out and you can see all of these are being updated as the excavator is passing over uh, that point. <coughs> all of those grid points. It's just taking the lowest point Okay. If I want to then paddle the machine around again, I just change it back to none, and now it stops updating. So you can see here there's a gap now. Um, and that's essentially how the modify mode works. So it allows the operator to come back the next day, and then go through and see where they've already excavated to grade, see the bits that aren't to grade. So really, if you were, everything was to grade, it should all, all be green or blue. Um, and if you've got any high spots, they will appear as red. So that's the whole principle behind this modify surface. It's really good for dredging. If you want, you can change these views and go into the modify view. And now it's just using a larger um, portion of the full screen um, for that. It's completely up to the operator.